G'day and welcome to your Monday footy feed. Well, Essendon officials, including James Hurd, Paul Lihill and Mark Thompson, have arrived at AFL House to meet with the Commission over the supplement scandal. The Bombers were due to front the Commission around 2 o'clock and it's all expected to take several hours. The Commissioners arrived for the meeting much earlier this morning. Now, earlier today at Windy Hill, Hurd gave no indication of what he was expecting to unfold this afternoon. Uh, I'm not sure. I don't think anyone really knows, so we'll, we'll wait and see. Thanks, mate. Lawyers for Essendon and the AFL were in negotiations right across the weekend. Carlton could be one of the big beneficiaries from any decision to strip the Bombers of Premiership points. Despite Saturday night's loss, the Blues remain ninth on the table. We can't really worry or uh, think too far ahead. Um, we've just got to look at the, the vision from on the weekend and, and learn... Um, what we can do better going forward, but um, yeah, in terms of what's happening at AFL House, it's uh, out of our control. Carlton faces Port Adelaide on Saturday Arvo at Amy Stadium. Sydney Swans dual premiership player Jude Bolton has announced he'll retire at season's end. Oh, I'd, I'd love to be here to uh, announce a four-year deal or something like that. Uh, uh, see me through to 400 yards something goes. But no, um, oh, no, I'm just really appreciative, and certainly uh, I'd like to thank all the. You know, the Swan supporters, I've got thousands of messages this morning. It's just been a magnificent career that this bloke's had. He's probably been, just when I spoke to the players before, the best clubman I think I've ever been involved with. His last year has been a good one too. The 33-year-old has played 19 games so far this season. West Coast defender Will Schofield has suffered serious facial injuries after an unprovoked attack in Geelong. In a statement today, the club said the 24-year-old was one of a number of players given permission to stay in Melbourne over the weekend. Victoria Police is investigating. Brisbane Lions star Daniel Merritt will undergo surgery today after sustaining a fractured left ankle during yesterday's win over the Western Bulldogs. Merritt's recovery is expected to take up to four months. Meantime, youngster Ryan Lester is recuperating from an injury of sorts. Shock, in fact, it was after some teammates gate crashed his press conference this yeah, morning. Getting that fresh, oh, freshness. Twenty-one today. Hey. Oh. Twenty-one. Happy birthday, mate. Well done, mate. Well done, mate. And happy birthday yeah, to Ryan birthday. from everyone here <laughs> at Footy Feed as well. Good to finish with something to smile about on a very busy Monday. Now, you might be looking for all the news from the Match Review panel. If you are, check out our chat with Chairman Mark Fraser in The Verdict here on afl.com.au. We'll have more on the Essendon story as it comes to hand. We are not going anywhere from the team for now. I'm Matt Thompson. Thanks for watching.